In the next few lessons, we're going to focus on the Layout tab under the Format button here in the sidebar. First up are Columns. This document currently has a single column, so the text stretches from one side of the paper all the way to the other. Make this two columns, and we get a column on each side of the page. We could make three or four columns here, but more than two on a document in portrait orientation usually doesn't look so good and it's going to be hard to read. With two columns, I will still want to make some changes here. I might want to decrease the size of this image to just cover the width of one column. And I'll probably want to move the name and date, along with the title, into text boxes in order to remove them from the columns. That leaves me with a document that looks more like a magazine article than a basic school report. Over in the newsletter sample, let's change its orientation to landscape. With this layout, three columns of text might be a good option. Notice that this is only applied to the first chunk of body text, not into the next heading and the text following that. If I had wanted to change this all at once, I would have needed to select all the text first. Uncheck Equal Width for the columns, and we can set a specific width for each column. We can also change the gutter width, which is the space between the columns. Also note that none of the text boxes were changed to multiple columns. We can do that though. Just select the text box and go to the text tab and then layout for the column controls. So columns can be applied to body text or text boxes. You can have up to eight columns and their widths can either be equal or set manually. Next up, we'll look at indents and tabs.